Been feeling the same like every day. We on silence and pain, all in different ways. When he's driving the moonlight, lately don't feel right. You just won't catch me up out in the day. Playing a game like it's just a shame. I've been firing my brain to think it's okay. And I spoke till I lose sight of what it is like to be the way that I want it, but hey, I don't know. What is up everybody, it's your boy Maple Syrup Nugs back again with another video. I got a dope ass bomb e-rig to review for you guys. There's a lot of dabs, some reviewing, and some getting faded in this video. So I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you drop a like and all that bullshit. We're gonna take a dab before we get into the video. This thing is absolutely amazing and you're gonna see. Cheers. All right, Maple Mob, I got a new rig to unbox and show you guys. It is the Bomb E-Rig. I'm super excited to show you guys this one. I've honestly wanted one of these bad boys since I saw it, and for them to hit me up and send me one is a huge blessing, so shout out to Bomb. Make sure you guys go and support them if you do enjoy the video. And we're just gonna get right into it. So it comes in this big, beautiful white box with all, everything that you receive in the box on the back, picture of the rig itself on the front, some specs and stuff like that on the side. So we've got 18 millimeter deep ceramic atomizer, 360 sidewall heating. So it just heats up the whole chamber, rotatable carb cap, super easy to clean, precise temperature control, easy operation, multicolored light and USB-C charging. So lots of great features from this bad boy. We're just gonna get right into session and get absolutely stoned with this thing. And when I tell you guys I'm excited for this, I really do mean it, man. I've been looking for a good e-rig to use as like my daily use and my daily, you know, driver, I guess you could say. And this one I think is a really good contender because dabs can just be very, very tedious in my opinion sometimes. And this is gonna make it a lot more convenient and a lot easier for your boy. Slide that off the top there. Beautiful white box. You can't really see that, but it says bomb on the side there. All right, let's get this bad boy opened up. And look at that, man look at that beautiful looking e-rig i'm gonna pull it right out it's really good size too look at that it's it's not too big not too small I like the white color feels heavy feels good quality and that dome that's over it definitely glass that ain't no plastic dome this thing is really really good quality grab some more stuff from the box here holy shit what the hell comes with a little funnel i don't know what the fuck you use that for that's a funnel stuff into your rig all kinds of goodies in here we've got charger q-tips and a dab tool so that's nice it comes with a little dab tool to put all your stuff in that's a nice dab tool it's got a like a shovel kind of vibe to it almost a nice little concave and scoop there kind of like a mini shovel that's perfect man and it's nice when companies do this too and give you a couple q-tips to clean it with so this little thing is to add water into it easier so you can put this at the top and then add some water a little easier i didn't even think about that I'm a dumbass, but that makes total sense, man. Shout out to Bomb for giving us a nice little funnel and we can fill up the water nice and easy. All right, we got this bad boy filled up with some water. Let's get it turned on. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, shit. It's got a nice light. Oh, and then it goes rainbow instantly. Damn. That shit looks sick as hell, man. What the fuck? Yo. I haven't even smoked this thing yet, and I'm already impressed. All right, so we're sitting at about 385 for temp-wise. You hit it three times, and then you can increase the temperature, right? So we're going to go up a little bit above 400, maybe about 450. Do a little bit lower temp of a dab here and see what kind of flavor we can get off of this thing. I'm not much of a dabber, but let me know what temperatures you guys like to go in on. I typically like to go around the lower temps. I've always done it by just heating it up and feeling it with my hand and shit and knowing. So I just go in. I never really know the exact temperatures, but I guess this thing is going to really help me learn the exact temperatures and the better temperatures to go in on. So we're going to waste no time. We're going to get this little chamber filled up. It just pops off just like that. You fill up all your goodies right into there. And then there's probably a little preheat thing that we can do. Hit it twice and let it heat up a little bit um, before we go in on it. And we'll just get right to it baby put the little dab tool that they gave me to use i have a little bit left of this caviar here so we're gonna use up this caviar and have a nice low temp dab nice tasty dab here just like that drop it right into the bomb there 
Nice and slowly let it fall in just like that. What an absolutely beautiful device, man. All right. All right, buddy. I know it's a sick ass device. Where'd you go? He's like, damn, that's sick as hell. Let me have a dab. Got it loaded up right there. That nice chamber. That thing isn't going to be white for very long. That's just going to look like like poo poo soon. All right, time for a dab. We close this bad boy up, hit the button twice, and it's going to show us what temperature that it's at slowly goes up and it actually shows you the timer and then what temperature it's at that's actually really sick so right around three three fifties maybe one will go in and see what a nice low temp dab does cheers holy shit Wowzers. I think when you're doing the automatic heat, it just stays heating up. Oh my God, yeah, it stays heating up. So you gotta remember to turn off the automatic heat. It doesn't have its own turn off. Oh my God, whoo. That was a delicious dab. Holy shit. That hit the spot, baby. And pretty much completely cleaned it out. I mean, there's some, a little bit of goop left in there. So we'll probably do a quick finish it off there. Oh yeah. You can still hold the button down too for manual use, but it's nice to just get it up to the temperature that you want it at and then start going in on it. And then right after your dab, put one of these Q-tips to use that they send you, just like that. Wow. It honestly doesn't get any easier than this, boys. Like it really doesn't get any easier than this. Pretty much just needed the one Q-tip. I'm just doing a second one just to make sure that it's nice and clean. But look at that one Q-tip and basically got it fucking nice and clean and just like that man you got a little bit of goop left over in there but this thing is amazing man first dab into this thing and i'm already like god damn this thing's a fucking beast that 450 was honestly perfect i don't even think i need to go any higher than that I, that right 450 was like an ideal temperature for me it kept it like still a nice big hit lots of fucking flavor i'm baked off of one dab which is honestly beautiful um it's just the the atomizer i let it get very hot like i i left the automatic heating on for too long because i assumed that it had like an auto turn off like most of them do so i was i didn't really pay too much of attention to it but i would be careful of that in the future right if you're gonna use the auto heating function make sure to hit it another two times to turn it off because i had it on basically the whole time that i was doing the dab but i think it just kept it around that 450 so it shouldn't be a huge deal. It'll keep your banger hot and it'll keep it nice. I don't think it makes it any hotter. Who knows? I mean, if it's still continuing to heat it, it might be hard to control the heat of it. You know what I'm trying to say? Don't be like me and getting too excited to get faded. But this thing is, I mean, just one dab out of it. And I'm like, holy shit, this is a game changer for me. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. To be blessed with this thing from Bomb, again, shout out to them. I really appreciate you guys because I'm gonna I'm gonna use this thing every day. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I'm gonna be using it on stream. I'm gonna be using it regularly for dabs because it is a very, very convenient device. As long as it continues to, you know, be convenient and it stays in good shape and stuff like that. I've only had one dab out of it and I'm already dick sucking it, but I really, really do think that it is a quality product. I don't want to go too crazy on it right off the bat, so we're going to let it cool down a little bit before we have another dab out of it. Because <laughs> your boy already wants another one. That was a fat dab of Terp Slush, but I also have some shatter that I wanted to try in this bad boy. Try some different consistencies and some different concentrates. You know, I need to get some rosin to throw into this bad boy as well. Some hash rosin for this thing would be legendary. We're having a little dab intermission on stream. Make sure you guys follow the Twitch at Iron Lungs Jr. And get it going, baby. 
you don't even need too much i'm i'm going through this shatter like it's like it's going out of style though it's not right it's not right you guys turn this bad boy on just like that this thing is so beautiful and then the uh the auto heat that temperature is just gonna keep going up cheers Wow. The easiest dabs, honestly, ever. So easy. All right, boys, it is day two of using the bomb e rig. I've been absolutely loving this fucking rig. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. This thing is great, convenient, throws clouds around. It absolutely is tasty as hell. I got the balcony open right now, the balcony door is wide open because it's like rainy and fresh and a beautiful day so we're doing a little rainy day sesh so if the car is driving by it was a little loud there i apologize but we're gonna go in on a nice globoso right after work i got the turf slush here with a nice little chunk of shatter on top and uh we're just gonna get it up into the rig and go crazy he's already kind of gunked up and is gonna need a clean but i just been going crazy with it so we're gonna let it warm up a little bit because it does heat itself up the moment you turn it on as you can see there's a little bit of smoke coming from the tip there i don't know if you guys can see but it warms it up to about like 200 or something like that and keeps it warm so that it's very very easy to just keep ripping on keep dabbing on so don't forget to turn it off when you're done get our dab into there hold it in there for a bit should melt right off just like that Ah, damn, this bad boy is whomping. That's fire as fuck. I ain't even gonna lie. First dab after work, got me a little faded. All right, gang, I'm getting ready to go pull up to one of the homies' house for a nice sesh, but I got this Vox Puffs here. This is the Peach Melon Berry. So this one is a 1.2 disposable, um, as you can see for educational purposes only YouTube. So yeah, it is an Indica 1.2 all-in-one disposable at 83% THC. It's nice to see the peach flavor in an Indica because I see a lot of peach flavors are sativas, we're just gonna dive right into it. These guys take inspiration from the back 40 ones. Pretty much identical. Ooh, goddamn, smells really good. But it has this really cool window on it. So this is the Vox Puffs here. Nice little device with some bubbles and some clouds on it. And then you can see all your distillate in that nice little window, which I'm a huge fan of this device. It's actually pretty cool looking. Cheers. Pretty much what you'd expect it's like a nice peach flavor with like a hint of like strawberry in there or like another kind of berry really really nice we're gonna be hitting some blinkers and hitting some fat toast with this today so let's get it i shouldn't have hit that blinker now i'm in the set of saw cheers you spent your <laughs> life play a game? doing drugs <laughs> no <laughs> no we're gonna see if you can survive 20 million blinkers back to back <laughs> It's me. I own the saw basement. <laughs> little bubbles and a little window. Yeah, it's crispy. Oh, Whoa. it's a triangle. It's a triangle. Whoa. You want to play a game? <laughs> Holy shit, man. It's just melted all over the place. Some on the lid. That looks cool, though. Oh my wow. 
Wow, Good very, very citrusy. Do you have a... I got a, I got do you have a, a dab tool? Oh, that one, it came with a dab tool. I should have brought it. Mmm, this stuff smells so delicious. Holy fuck. Yeah, it's really like citrusy. Yeah, that turp slush is looking beautiful. Pulled up on the homie. We're gonna take some dabs. Sweet. Hit that bitch. Hit that bitch. And this is a carb too. So you can go like that and carb it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, see how That's see awesome. how fat that thing hits? Like for <laughs> Smooth too. Fuck, that's tasty. Mmm. That much flavor off some shatter too. Like, that's awesome. I know, it's a ceramic coil. Fuck it, Abe. And I keep it around low temp too. <coughs> Oof, that was a nice fucking dab. Yeah, you're having the same reaction I did when I first smoked that. I was like... Ooh. Yeah. And I didn't have to use a torch. I didn't have to fucking... Just fucking... Turn it on, slap it in, press a button, and mm -hmm. you're sucking on a glow stick. Dude. It's like the Happle, you know? Like it just makes it so much better. Give it a quick... Wee, 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 wee. Man, I love this thing. <laughs> is this the sour blueberry? Yeah. Pretty tasty. I was just smoking on one of these the other day. They're fucking beautiful. <coughs> yeah, we're chilling in the backyard. Having a nice little sour blueberry doink. Super tasty, super wet. You guys know I love these. Big advocate for the doinks. Hurry up, man. I'm gonna smoke this whole thing, bro. Faded up the inebriation. All right, we got a mixture of the turp, slush, and the shatter up in this bad boy. We're gonna get it ready and get it faded. Slush on the glass. What glass? Inebriation. I'm getting so faded. A mixture of the turf flush and the shatter. We're going crazy. We're going crazy. Fuck yeah. We so faded. Munchies, faded. Munchies, faded. Oh, faded. <laughs> yeah, baby, got a little slab of shatter. Ooh, with a relatable cat hair on it. Wouldn't be concentrated without a cat hair. We're gonna rock some fucking shatter out the bomb. You rig, I've been loving this thing, man. Shout out to bomb. And we on stream, baby. kind of dark in here but i wanted to get a nice function of that light we're doing a little wake and bake this morning with the with the bomb e-rig Now that is a proper wake and bake. Holy shit. Been feeling the same lie every day. We all silence their pain all in different ways. When we thought in the moonlight, lately don't feel right. You just won't catch me up out in the day. Playing a game like it's just a shame. I've been frying my brain to think it's okay. And I smoke till I lose sight of what it is like. to be the way that I want it, but hey.